Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching. Today we are going to study characteristics of cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria which are also known as blue-green algae. They are the largest and most diverse group of photosynthetic bacteria. If they are bacteria, it means that they are true prokaryotes. When we talk about the true prokaryotes, it means that they lack cell membrane in their organelles and their nucleic acid is present in the cytoplasm without any nuclear membrane. If you talk about the diameter of their cells, they are 1 to 10 micrometer in diameter. In the shape, they can be unicellular or they can be present in the form of colonies of many shapes. Moreover, they can be found in the form of filaments which consist of trichomes. Now the trichomes is, are actually chain of cells. Here you can see the chain of cells in this form where each cell is joined with each other. It is known as trichome and this trichome is surrounded by mucilaginous sheet in this form like this. Uh, one sheet is present and this mucilaginous sheet gives them a very slippery appearance. The cell wall in the cyanobacteria is of gram negative type and when talk about the movement of these cells they lack flagella which is present normally in the bacteria but in cyanobacteria the movement takes place often by the gas vesicles uh, which helps to move in the water and if we talk about the filamentous species they have the gliding movement because of their filaments they are going to move you know like this they are going to glide the reserve food in the cyanobacteria is glycogen glycogen which is a polymer of alpha glucose if we talk about their photosynthetic system, their photosynthetic system resembles the eukaryotes and they have chlorophyll E and photosystem 2. They carry out oxygenic photosynthesis. Uh, it means that they are going to use water as electron donor and then they are going to generate oxygen which happens normally in the plant cells. They use phycobilins as the accessory pigments. The prominent phycobilin is phyco cyanine which is a blue pigment which is present in the cells of the cyanobacteria the photosynthetic pigments and electron transport chain components they are present in the thylakoid membrane and they are linked with the particles called phycobilisomes so all these things they are attached with this particle which is known as phycobilisomes Carbon dioxide is assimilated through the Calvin cycle. So during the photosynthesis process, the Calvin cycle takes place and in the Calvin cycle, carbon dioxide is used. When we talk about their reproduction, they are reproduced by binary fusion or by fragmentation. In the binary fusion, their cell is divided into two after the division of their DNA or nucleic acid. While in the case of fragments, the cell fragments they are going to be shed out of their body and that fragment is going to grow into a new organism they have hormogonia which are filaments of cell you can see these are the hormogonia then they also have heterocyst heterocyst these are the specialized nitrogen fixing cells here you can see this part here these are the heterocyst and in this part they are going to fix the nitrogen along with this they also have a kinase which is enveloped thick walled non motile dormant cell you can see this one here this is a kinase which is thick wall and enveloped means that they have the envelope and they are non motile because they are attached with the other cells and they are the dormant cells it means that they are not dividing actively so that was all about the characteristics of cyanobacteria if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video